Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. This is the how-to series and this is installment number eight, I believe. And so anyway, today what I want to do is I want to show you all the easiest way to incorporate color into an eyeshadow look. Say you're a neutrals lover, you're comfortable with neutrals. That's really about all you've ever used is neutrals and you really don't know how to incorporate color without feeling like you look like a clown. So I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna use this uh, iconic London palette here. And the name of this is Beachside Babe Eyeshadow Palette. And it's got some really pretty neutrals, but there's also a couple pops of color. And so I just want to show you all how to do this. I'm going to go in with the shade called Warm Sand. It's this neutral one right here on the end. And we're just going to pop this in the crease. And I'm just going to do one eye on the camera. And then I will finish the look and then come back and this is going to be a quick video today I just want to show you all just really quickly how to incorporate color in an eyeshadow look so we're just going to do a two shadow look and I'm going to use a couple of mattes here and then we're going to pop in a little color all right so, and then I'm going to go in with this shade called Bikini. <laughs> it's kind of a cute name. Anyway, it's like a darker brown right there. Just to deepen up the um, crease a little bit. Not really going all out with a full-fledged, you know, difficult look. This is pretty beginner-friendly here. And just about anybody that has three different, you know, if you have a neutrals palette and you have like some shades that, some colorful shades that you want to learn how to use, but you really don't know where to begin. Okay, so we've got just a basic little eyeshadow look going there. Okay, now for the pop of color, you're just going to choose a flat brush or a small brush that has like a tip to it. Or whatever and then you're going to choose the color that you want to use and I want to go in with this green shade here it's like a dark green it's called ocean deep and it's a matte as well and I'm using this little flat brush here just to keep you know things real uh, clean and the just place this color right here underneath the lash line And the color's going to show up the best if you use a clean brush, of course. And just, just pop this right there underneath the lid. You don't have to put it actually in the waterline, but just underneath the eyelashes there. And put it on thick enough to where you're going to be able to see the color. And then if you feel like it's too much, you can always use another brush, another like a fluffier type brush and you can soften it so this one right here this tapered one from complex culture you can just kind of soften that a little bit if you want to not really smoking it out but just kind of blurring it a little bit and there you've got a good pop of color and then if you wanted to emphasize that color even more you could choose a let me find one here you could choose a liner um, for the waterline and I'm going to choose this really pretty green one this is from crown and just pop this in the waterline and that's going to help that green eyeshadow to really pop and you're going to be able to see that the green is just really going to show up with the use of the waterline eyeliner so we've got green eyeshadow and a green liner. And then you just put on your mascara and then whatever kind of lip look that you want to do. And then if you wanted to add, you know, highlighter to the brow bone or the inner corner, you know, you could really amp this up in a very quick and easy way. So there you see, you know, just a really uh, easy way to incorporate color. It doesn't have to be, 
you know, a, a neon color, as you saw, I used like a pine green um, matte and then just used that green eyeliner with it. So anyway, just an idea there for you guys. I wanted to help out with that. There are other ways to incorporate color. We can get into it in more detail later on, but I just wanted to give you an idea where you could go ahead and begin you know with something fairly easy so for summer you know whatever you want if you wanted to use a pink or, or a really pretty orange you know these are colors that are um pretty user friendly i think so anyway that's it i just wanted to keep it short for today i love you all so much let me hear from you down in the comments and give the video a thumbs up love you all so much god bless you today it's my prayer i'll see you in my next video bye Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I wanted to finish everything and then, you know, show you er well, how it looked after I was done. So you can definitely see that pop of green underneath. Everything else stayed pretty neutral. I did put some uh, cream products on my cheeks. I have not used any powder other than what is on my eyes today. So, but anyway, the main focus is the eyes and the, uh, the green, the green, the pop of color. So anyway, it's a way to incorporate color, and I just wanted to show you what the end result was. All right. God bless you all. Thank you for watching.